Well, I think our philosophy is to make our people more productive. So let me give you one example. Today we have to put augmented crews on the airplane when you go over a certain time, eight hours. My guess is five years from now, the supernumerary, this extra pilot, won't be in the plane. He or she will be on the ground. And then five years or 10 years after that, there may be only one pilot in there. So the productivity of the pilot will go up. The compensation of that pilot will go up because that's what productivity does is it lets you pay people and make the capital give you a better return. That's the way I think it's gonna evolve and that's the way we're approaching it at FedEx on our ramps and in our yards. Today we have robotic mules, you know, the little tugs that take things around. Probably in five years, half of them will be automated, but we'll still have people that oversee them. So they'll become more productive, but the robots will be doing a lot of the routine work. So I think it's gonna be likely much more evolutionary. And I think the sociological factors, whether you want to consider them or not, will drive things just as much as technology.